friends and students in today's class we will again discuss one more important topic that are sensors actuators and transformers so i will just first explain you what are sensors what is actuator and what is transformers then we will understand what is the its importance what is the difference between all these three things and we will do some lab practicals also okay let's jump to the sensor part what is sensor device that detect changes in the environment and converts them into electrical signals whatever information is there or light information sound information it has to be that is here in this case it is electrical energy is there so that type of device which converts one form of energy to electrical signals we call it as a sensors actuators we'll come to the next one that is actuators device that converts electrical signal into physical actions right physical actions like uh, motor is there when you press a button or when you want to run it then only when the current is passed then it will take it will rotate and it will give you physical action so likewise motors relays and there are so many other things which are converting or we can call it them as a actuator now you come to this third part that is called as transducers the word transducer transducer is the collective term used for both sensor which can be used to sense wide range of different energy forms such as movement electrical signal radiant energy thermal or thermal or magnetic energy right it is transducers also converts one form of energy to another form of energy like speaker microphones right uh, these are all transducers okay so we'll go to the next you can just see in the picture i've given you so that you get an idea on left hand side top left hand side there are sensors three sensors okay one is first one is flame sensor second one is your uh, hall sensor we call it as hall sensor is a type of a sensor for measuring the speeds right and controlling the speed in vehicles it is very common and third type of sensor you find is it's a ir sensor only but in a different formation okay on right hand side you can see one motor and relay that is we take it as an actuator or sometimes we can call it uh, them uh, we, we, they will also come in the category of transducers all right now you come down to the bottom on left hand side a microphone has been given it's a purely trans reducer okay any type of a microphone that converts sound energy to electrical energy it's a trans reducer then the second picture is of vibrator motor which is there inside your mobile phones which vibrate when you that it rotates your total phone vibrates body vib vibrates the phone body vibrates okay so it's a simple example of trans reducer okay so from this picture you can make it out okay types of sensors it is grouped by type of measurements what type of uh, measurement you are taking depending upon that the sensor are categorized so temperature sensor first this is nothing but thermocouple and rtds thermocouples and rtds are the temperature based sensors light sensor photodiodes and ldr okay i will show you the ldr part we will have done the practicals in the previous uh, this thing also i will in the lab also i will try to show it to you photodiodes also i will try to show it's ir diode photodiode we call it as ir okay receivers then you have a motion sensor pir sensor on the right hand side you can see here these are the pir sensor this is a smaller one this is a bigger one right what is pir full form for pir positive infrared right positive infrared sensor uh, that is or accelerometer that comes in the, for the motion motion sensor we call it as well. if you could just move around uh, in front of the sensor automatically it will give you the high or low signals right pressure sensor barometer strain gauges are pressure sensor it is used for the factory chemical factory and other factories this uh, type of a pressure sensors are used then you have proximity sensors i will show you the proximity sensor we'll do practical based on proximity sensor ultrasonic and captive right there are two basically we categorize ultrasonic ultrasonic is one type of sound and captive is a different type of capacitance type of a sensor okay you can see here on the bottom side one sensor one is microphone one is touch and another one is thermal and one is ldr okay we'll go to the next slide so these are different type of sensors you can have a ir sensor pir sensor there are so many sensors and please remember in the coming future we will we can design or you will see lot of sensors because very very important topic of electronic industrial electronics power electronics consumer electronics and medical electronics so everywhere sensors play a vital role okay i so passive actually we divide the sensor into this two group passive sensor and active sensor but better we can call them as analog and digital sensors analog category and digital what is analog analog sensor produces a continuous output as you know that about the analog signal that is voltage is generally proportional to the quantity being measured right physical quantity such as temperature speed pressure 
displacement, strain, etc. These are all analogs. Okay, so you just got the idea about it. What is digital sensor? Produces a discrete digital output. Okay, signal or voltage that are digital representation of the quant quantity being measured. Digital sensor produces binary output. That is important, right? Binary output, zeros and one, or we call this off around. So in this category, what we take infrared IR sensor, humidity sensor, and other type of uh, sensors will be produced. Okay, so analog and digital. Okay, type of actuators. Now this is very important. Electrical actuators we call it as hydraulic actuators. We call it as in electrical actuator DC motors, stepper motors. These are the actuators. Okay, I will show you in the class. That is the lab program. I will show you. Hydraulic actuator uses fluid pressure for big industries, manufacturing industries, car manufacturing, robotic industries. We use. Hydro, uh, hydro hydraulic actuators and same thing pneumatic uh, actuators also we use for big machines then you have thermal actuators biometallic strips will be there that is related to heat piezoelectric actuators vibration and motion i've just now shown you a vibrator motor right example of application in robotics motors are used to control robotic arms you can see the pictures of the robotic arms in the bottom side on the left hand side it is a pneumatic actuator okay then you have a, on right hand side, uh, you also you have a pneumatic act, uh, actuator. Bottom side, you have hydro, hydraulic actuators. And you have a stepper motor and a DC motor on the right hand side top. You can see there. Okay, we'll go to the next slide. So these are the proximity sensors, IR, okay, IR and ultrasonic. So without this, uh, no school students, college students, they can do complete their project because basic mini projects and micro projects compulsory, you have to use at least once you have to use these two sensors. Maximum of them they use it. Okay, so you should study. You should be thorough with these two sensors. That is proximity sensor. One is IR. That is emitting light. Light. IR is light. And whereas the HCSR04 is your ultrasonic sensor. That is sound sound signal, which cannot be heard by your ears, but it's a sound signal. Okay, based on that, these two sensors works. All right, we come to now role of IoT Internet of Things. Please remember. IOTs, all IOTs, functions and everything, all industrial IOT or I Internet of Things, you use sensors, application in automation, robotic, smart cities, smart uh, homes, home automation uses light sensor to control smart light. So please remember, wherever the word control comes, right, smart and control comes, definitely you will have sensors over there. Okay. So IOT, very important is sensors. Okay. Now we'll come to the automotive electronics. Please remember. In automation, in automatic uh, auto automotive electronics, you have so many sensors in your car, in your vehicle. You must have heard about uh, driverless cars. Driverless cars are not possible without sensors. Please remember. So even now, the minimum the uh, uh, the automobile you have in your homes and all, they will have definitely have at least five to ten sensors in it. So airbag works on the automatic uh, automobile with the sensors only anti-lock braking system that works on this the sensors only based on sensor traction control that is also sensor parking assistant that is also sensor lane keeping assistant cooling system and so many other sensors will be present inside your automotive let it be uh, with the engine or let it be electric vehicle okay how about the futures future challenges what are the future challenges accuracy cost integration issues so what are the future trends will be there? Development of smart sensors. Please remember smart sensors development every time it will be there. So some of the ideas just I've given you here. Miniaturization for variable technologies. Variable means the watches and all. It will be very, very thin. It will be inside on your fingers nowadays. Now you wear it on your wrist, but probably it will come only on your fingers. And sometimes variable, it will come only in the glasses. The glasses will do the work of looking into the things also. At the same time, you will have the com complete computer screen on inside that. So these are the advanced things. Advanced AI for actuator control. So actuators, motors, and everything will be controlled by AI, right? So these are the few of the example. Now we will do some practical. We'll go to the lab for that. All right, welcome back to the lab. So here we will discuss. I will show you first of all transducers so here i can show you this is buzzer right it has two points here okay it works like a speaker only but uh, only monophonic that is only single uh, type of sound will be there that's why we call it as a buzzer this is your transducer this is a simple example of transducer 
it will give buzzer sound. That's all. Okay. So this is trans reducer. The another type of trans reducer here, you can see here that which is motor, we call it as a servo motor. Okay. So the servo motor, the energy is converted into mechanical energy and mechanical energy, it will just move around. This it will move around and some work is done. In, in the case of a buzzer, in the case of a buzzer, only sound will be converted. That means electrical energy is converted into sound energy. So we are doing the conversion. Okay. Right. So these are the transducers. Already we have seen this is LDR. Okay. This is LDR, light dependent resistor. This is a type of a sensor. Okay. Right. Now I will tell you about this also. This is also a type of a sensor, but you must be thinking it is a semiconductor sensor. This is LM35. LM35. This is used for sensing the temperature. Probably we'll do some practical based on this in the coming future. LM35 looks like just like a transistor, like DC547 transistor. It looks like that only. Okay. So these are the sensors. So these two are sensors. These two are again. This is ultrasonic sensor. This is also sensor. Okay. These are the sensor. So all these three comes in the one category that is sensor, and these are trans reducers. Okay. Now, so you can see I have made uh, two small sensor circuits. One and this two. There are two small sensor circuits. I will just explain you one by one. So let's take this one. This is a proximity sensor using IR. One is IR transmitter. One is receiver. Okay, so it's a proximity sensor. Okay, so what I did is in this proximity sensor, just to give you a little demo, I have connected one LED to it. That is, I have connected one bulb here through one transistor. Okay, what transistor is this? Right now, the transistor is PC558, that is PNP transistor. Okay, through 1K register that is coming out, the output of this sensor is coming out through this yellow color jumper and going to the base of the transistor and the negative and positives are connected accordingly okay so i will just give you give a connection i have used i'm using a 3.3 volts battery so this is a rechargeable battery positive i'm connecting it here right okay negative i'm just trying to connect to the negative side okay so this is the negative point now the sensor light has come okay the sensor light has come now what is proximity just i'm taking my hand over the top of it you can see the light has come okay i'm removing my hand so the reflection that is transmission of light what what light ir light is taking place and this so these are the one type of sensor that is proximity sensor we use this type of sensor in a lot of projects many of the projects you can use it only the thing is you have to understand how the sensor can be used so i have just given you a little idea so i have to put when i am putting my hand then the light is getting that is the reflected back the ir are reflected back and you are getting the light this LED bulb is coming. Now, I will just give you a simple example. I will remove this transistor. This is 558. I will put one 558 is PNP. Okay. 558 is PNP. I will put an NPN transistor exactly same place. Not, no changes at all. So I'm just putting a transistor that is NPN transistor. I'll give the connection. Let's see what happens. Now this light is continuously on. Got it? Now now it is continuously on. But when I put my hand on the top of it, it gets off. So what you have noticed in the case of this transistor, that is PNP transistor, it was reverse. When I was putting my hand at that time, light was coming on to off, off to on by changing the transistor from PNP to NPN, right? It's a very simple process. You should know why we use PNP and NPN transistor and what happens. That simple example I have told you. So whatever is your requirement, you can just do it by yourself. That is, if you are doing any project according to your requirement, output requirement, you will use PNP or NPN transistor. Okay. So this is one project. I will show you another project. All right. In this project, you can see here in this project, I have used what touch sensor. This is also a type of sensor, which is called touch sensor. Same here, VCC, red color jumper wire that goes to VCC. This green color wire that is going to the negative. I have used one transistor here. here that is BC547. The emitter is collected to the ground, the base through 1K, I am giving it to the output of the touch screen. And the positive end of the LED is connected to the positive line, this is positive line, and negative side is collected, connected to the collector through a register, dropping register of 330 ohms, you can see here. So I will just give the connections over here, and I will try to show it to you. I have given the positive connection, the negative connection is on this side, okay? Right. Now, you, what do you find? You don't find anything. So this is a touch screen. Please remember, it is a touch screen. So when you put your finger on the touch screen, then only the light will come. Correct. The way your mobile phones and other projects 
and all that work with the help of this. It's a sensor. Touch. This is a sensor. Okay, and I have just simply to show you how the light is coming. When you are touching, then only the light is coming. Suppose you want the reverse. That means when it is touched, continuous the light should be there, and when you touch, the light should be off. What you will do? You will replace this transistor with PNP. Okay, you will replace it. Just now we saw in the, in the other uh, this thing. I have used NPN transistor over here, so we can just put a PNP transistor. Only you have to replace the transistor. The state. The state means what? On to off. Off to on. These are the states. It will change, right? So this is one of the projects I'm doing. Why I'm showing you all these projects? Because we are discussing about sensors. Sensor is a very important topic for industries, for everything, right? In the coming future, for the industries, for projects, for studies, everything. Sensors are a very important topic. So that's why I've shown you these two projects. Okay, right? I hope you understood this. Thank you. <music>